Welcome to another exciting beginner's Photoshop tutorial. What we have here is a photo of a famous little street in York. Um, it's that famous, I forget its name. We've got a nice picture here, but something immediately stands out. The people, the buildings are too dark, and the sky is perhaps a little bit too bright. Now, this is something that can only be done in Photoshop CC, but you can also do it in earlier versions of Photoshop, although the method is not quite as straightforward and as high quality, but I will run it for those of you who are using Photoshop CS6 or under. Um, if you go to Image, Adjustments, and you're looking for Shadows and Highlights, um, it does default across but just so you can see if I bump it up to a hundred it lightens everything down there up if I bump the shadows the highlights up it darkens everything up there down so if you want to go there and there you've already got a vast improvement turn the preview on off on you can see it's done all right it's it's not bad um, it's an easy way to fix a problem like that with pretty good results. However, in S Photoshop CC, you have got this new filter called the Camera Raw Filter, which we'll click on now. Um, this is very similar, but has got much more precise control and does it far more accurately to higher standard, in my opinion. Um, so, the most obvious thing that stands out is the shadows need to be increased um, to brighten them up. I'd say there is about fine. Can't go much further anyway. We want the highlights brought down. And then I think the overall exposure needs to be increased as well. Now, you can't keep on increasing and increasing too far because things start looking ridiculous. And if you zoom in, you will start to get lots of noise and unwanted things so just be careful that you don't go overboard with this it does work wonders up to a point um, increase the whites a bit just to get some white clouds pull the blacks back a tad just to increase the contrast you can also increase the contrast there but it starts to you know again it's doing things a little bit at a time, not too much. I would touch the clarity up on any picture that you mess around too much with the lights and darks, unless it's people's faces. Because people's faces, if you've got a large face to increase the clarity, makes it look basically like some sort of drug addict. So we'll put a tad clarity and the vibrance, of course, as well, and um, just to increase the colours a bit, which lost in the darkness and hit OK and there's the before it's just thinking and there's after a vast improvement um, fairly easy it's a Photoshop CC only one but we did show you how to do it in Photoshop CS6 and earlier hope you enjoyed this one um, easy one to do and impressive results see you next time bye bye